Greetings viewers. Today we gather to celebrate an extraordinary milestone achieved by our innovative Canadian startup visa group Latu Sony. Thanks to our expertise in the Canadian startup visa program and their innovation, they've just received their confirmation of permanent residency in Canada, marking a monumental achievement in their journey. With our support and guidance, Latu Sony, led by Longas founder and chief executive officer, Bao as co-founder and head of operations and logistics, B as co-founder and head of project management, and Ha as co-founder and head of customer relations, has navigated the complex process of obtaining permanent residency in Canada, paving the way for them to continue their groundbreaking work. Their dedication to innovation knows no bounds. Latu Sony specializes in ultrasonic technology, offering sustainable cleaning solutions that are revolutionizing the industry. During my recent trip to Vietnam, I had the privilege of sitting down with the brilliant minds behind Latu Sony. Join me as we explore their inspiring journey, their innovative products, and the impact they're making on a global scale. This is a testament to what can be achieved with perseverance, innovation, and the right support. But before we start. Hello, my name is Reza and I work with the Engli Canada immigration team helping applicants move to Canada. Whether it's for yourself, your kids, your business, or all of the above, we do make it happen. I work hands-on with our licensed team in Canada working on actual applications and communicating with the immigration department on behalf of our clients, whether overseas or inside Canada. These videos are made for the purpose of sharing our hands-on Canadian immigration knowledge with our worldwide audience. And if you're thinking about immigrating, at Ingwe we break down the barriers between countries so you can study, work or invest in the destination of your choice. We're licensed and we help applicants just like yourself and your families. When you were deciding or looking to immigrate, why did you decide Canada? Yeah, I actually uh, was considering Canada and Australia for my uh, immigration. And um, I decided to uh, choose uh, Canada for two main reasons. The first is a high class, a high class of quality for education for my two daughters in Canada. And uh, also, uh, I'm an entrepreneur in Vietnam, so I see uh, SUV program in Canada is it's uh, wonderful and it 100% match with my qualification. So that's why I choose Canada for. Before I decide to choose Canada, we go to uh, USA or Canada. Mm -hmm. But uh, after that, uh, I think Canada is even more suitable for me. Mm -hmm. uh, and I go to uh, Canada for over three months. I spent about 10 years in Germany before I returned to Vietnam and built up my business. Mm -hmm. And then uh, along the way, when, when I think uh, about a country to bring my family there, the first thing in Canada is the culture. The culture of welcome newcomer, a culture of creating opportunity for everyone. Uh, and that is something we are looking for. And secondly, about the nature. So um, it is an amazing landscape, an amazing country. Uh, and and that, that's to me the, the biggest thing which is inspiring me to go in this pathway. Uh, to bring the whole family to Canada. What did you know about the startup visa before applying? So, with, with this Canadian dream, you can see some similarity in each of us that we want to go, and basically, uh, we know each other for a long time. And then we sit together in a group and then start to do our brainstorming. What, uh, under our age, and our economic situation, how fast we, we got to do that, and, and basically, it's popping out startup visa. But we, we don't have much information. At that time, uh, back in, uh, in 2018, 2017, the information is not there. And we try to do a lot of Google and, 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 and looking on friend. And basically, the program had just started in 2006 with the pilot phase. Uh, but we do see we have an opportunity. And then somehow, uh, Ingui was 
was one of the, the searching results that come to us. And we start to do further more exploring and by talking to her. Could you share with us your experience with the SUV immigration process? What aspects did you find positive? And were there any challenges or aspects you didn't find as satisfactory? So the thing I like about this, this program is number one, the business idea. Mm -hmm. So the way how we come up with idea and the way how we're getting support to, to, to create a business plan that is now going live. Uh, we learn a lot from that. Um, it is not only about the competency to run a business and building a business, but that is also how we prepare ourselves, how we speak the language of our uh, IRCC officer, and, and also creating a pathway. Mm -hmm. Looking at the time, it's crazy. I have to say, yes. the only thing where I don't like from this is really take us so long. So I remember we start sometime in, in 2018 talking about our idea and then doing some searching and studying and then when we kick off it, uh, that is sometime in 2018 and, and look at now, 2024, so that is, it is quite some time but the, the biggest uh, um, concern we have at some time during the COVID time for example we did not hear anything from, from our IRCC, we don't know where it's heading to us and then we think whether we should continue this project or not but somehow our founder, he, he just keep saying let's do it, let's go and throw that together uh, and also the only thing we hear is from you guys, yeah. so you keep the motivation, you keep the pace. Yes. What's the most important lesson for people that are considering applying for SUV? Number one is belief on what you are doing. Because without this belief, without really the passion on, on the project you have, um, you don't have the motivation uh, to, to go a long way. Secondly, looking for the right partner. I think if you have the right partner which can back you up, give you the direction and sometimes also give you the motivation because I can tell you this is a very long way. It is really, really a very long way that you have to accomplish. Uh, but you get the support. You get every support from the incubator. You have the support from, from, from your lawyer partner. Mm -hmm. But if you don't believe on what you are doing and don't have the passion on that, you cannot hold that long. If you work for PR, maybe you don't get a PR. But we are working for our business and under the support of, of our incubator and our partner, we get a very fruitful result. In one word, how do you feel now that you received your confirmation of PR? I feel relief. Relief. That's hard. It's my turn. Wonderful. I'm so happy. Thank you for joining us for this inspiring SUV success story. If you recognize the potential for you, your business or clients, be sure to show your support by liking, sharing and subscribing for more valuable insights. If you're thinking about immigrating to Canada through investment, business, skilled immigration, sponsorship or studies, you are at the right place. I can guarantee only one point to you when you work with us. You will know what to expect, the entire process clearly laid out for you, and all the risks identified where we can support you 100% as our client. No surprises, just results. Our team speaks over eight languages and we help applicants from over 47 different countries with their Canadian immigration process. Click the link below this video and get a free email assessment. And if you already know what you want, you're serious and your timeline is clear, you're ready to go, you can also book a one-on-one -on -one consultation with me using the consultation link in the description of this video as well. See you soon.